Medicine involves a vast amount of data, almost all of which is produced by the clinical laboratory. The field of informatics helps us navigate through this wealth of information, but it might be a discipline lab professionals are less familiar with. To help us out and to discuss the topic of her session, Informatics and the Clinical Chemist, Exploring the Role and Scope for Training and Careers, I'm joined by Darcy Block. Darcy, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. So to start things off, can you just tell us what is informatics? How does it use IT solutions to solve data problems? I'm an amateur, so I'll start with that disclosure. But when I think of informatics and IT, um, IT is really those tools that we use in the laboratory and in medicine to gather and store data, and we might do some analysis with it. But it's really the science of, of informatics, which is taking that data and making uh, useful information, creating knowledge from it, and then using that to um, improve outcomes and practice medicine in new and different ways. That's my understanding of it. And so then how does informatics relate to laboratory medicine and how well utilized is it in labs? So your introduction was so great and spot on. So we in the laboratory create a wealth of data. Um, and we, when you talk to um, data scientists, it's really the discrete data that's so useful. And we use it to do a number of things. Um, I would say, you know, we try to use it to make process improvements. We've used it to improve test utilization. Um, but, you know, I think that our tools and the sophistication of informatics is evolving and improving. And so I think that we're kind of at a cusp of what can we do next? What are those new and novel and innovative things that we can do with our data now that those tools are available? And so what has your experience been in incorporating the informatics into your work? Again, I'm an amateur um, and I'm still learning what informatics is and um, how it applies to clinical chemistry. But I would say one of the things in, in the clinical laboratory, our workflows are quite complex. And so it isn't always you change A and you can predict what B will be. So we like to use data to um, evaluate and use evidence to make changes and improve things. And so we've done that. We've optimized, for example, auto verification rules in our laboratory. Uh, we've used it to optimize our um, automation workflows and things like that. So we mentioned your session that is coming up today. What is the aim of your session and how do you hope to offer guidance on how lab professionals can both utilize and get trained in informatics? My motivation really for this session was um, I had been involved in some IT projects in my institution implementing a new EHR. So all of my training, if you'll say, um, is by experience. And then I was approached to um, take a leadership role in my department, um, and my role is the vice chair of informatics. So as I was contemplating this maneuver and kind of pivot in my career, I really became aware for my, I had a self-awareness that I should really know what informatics is. And, you know, there, since I only had experience, what could, I, what should I be learning um, to complement um, this new role that I'm taking? And when I went out there uh, to find information, it, you know, there, there's definitely clinical informatics. It's its own field. Um, but I didn't really know how it applied to me as a clinical chemist. I was still left wondering and I thought, I'm probably not the only one wondering. So that's why I wanted to put this session together. That brings me to my final question today. For those still wondering even more, what key message would you give to people who are wanting to learn more about this area? So I'm really excited to hear from Dr. Long and Dr. Jacobs, uh, who are you know very experienced clinical informatics um, experts and also clinical laboratory directors, what we'll for sure be able to get from the, the, their session is what is informatics? Um, how can a clinical chemist um, engage in it? Uh, what sorts of projects might we be doing um, that really qualify as, as informatics projects? And what can we be sharing with our trainees, um, not only clinical chemistry fellows, 
and pathology residents, but also in institutions that have clinical informatics fellowships. Um, what are those projects and experiences we can be uh, teaching to the next generation of lab professionals? So that's what I anticipate we're going to get. Wonderful. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Appreciate it. Best of luck during your session. Thanks so much.